Ahoy, it's your favorite tour guide here. Oh my god, ew, I tried to spice it up, I don't like it. What's up guys, it's your favorite tour guide here. Back at it again with another island tour. Today we will be visiting the island of Fiddleport. Fiddleport is a small port town, obviously, hence the name Fiddleport. I love this theme so much. Actually, I need to stop saying every theme is my favorite theme because literally every single theme out there is my favorite. Here's their map and dream address if you want to come visit. Oh, I love the theme that we got going on here with the blue villagers. Assuming that majority of the island will also be blue. Blue and white maybe. We got two resident reps here. We got Matilda and we got Matthew. Oh, interesting. Look at the campsite. How do we get over there? You don't think we can like hop over there or anything, right? Because that would be a big hop. Maybe it's not accessible, but we'll find out. I cannot wait to see this island, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, here is their entrance. Love that they made this giant land bridge slash dock for their entrance. I've never seen this before. This is very creative. Oh, and there she is. There's Matilda. So right in the front here, we got two villager homes. And they're both home. Oh my gosh, how lucky are we? We got a lighthouse here as well. But before we see the villager homes, I want to show you where I came from. Here is resident services. And of course, the creators were so kind enough to leave us tons of gifts. Let's just grab these really quick. Oh my gosh, there's so many. You're coming home with me. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, not me having $78 in my pockets. Like, how embarrassing is that? Okay, so here's the new fit. What do we think? What do we think? I mean, I look way better now than when I came here because my outfit was just not it. And look, I match the island now. How cute. Oh, look what we have down here. A nice little romantic area by the water. You can have a little date here. And if you don't have a date, you can just sit here, enjoy a cup of coffee, gossip with your friend. Let's look at the left side of resident services. Ooh, it looks like we have a little dock here. Oh, wait, whoa, this is their peninsula. I've never seen a peninsula this close to their airport before. I love the way they decorated it and like the mixture of the trees. This looks really good. What do we have down here? Oh, we have a little fishing area. Whoa, hang on, I didn't mean to sit. Look at this. For a second, I thought that was real. And I was like, how did Gulliver get all the way onto the beach? That's such a cool code. Oh my gosh, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And that goes for all of the codes here on this island. I'll just have the creator code linked down below. Okay, what do we have here? We have some shipment. It also looks like we have a bar as well. We love a beach bar. Anything else over here? It looks like we have a boat workshop. And then that's it. Let's just quickly run back over here to the peninsula. Let's head up now and see what they have here. We have more boats on the left and then we have an entry here to resident services. Okay, let's keep going up. Oh my gosh, there's Pom Pom! If you guys didn't know, Pom Pom has been one of my day ones since GameCube. She was one of my best friends. I had her on my town forever. And then of course in the GameCube game, you don't have a choice. So then she moved away and I was devastated. I literally reset it the next day. <laughs> My little heart just couldn't take it. Okay, so here it looks like we have a cafe. You can get some coffee. You can get some pastries. Oh, and you can sit over here too. We have a fountain. Let's go up this incline. <gasps> Not me thinking that bug over there was a villager. I was just like, how did you get over there? By the way, that bug is huge. <laughs> Imagine seeing that thing in real life. I wonder if it's actually that massive. Oh my gosh, the dragonfly is huge too. What the heck is happening? All these gigantic bugs? But anyways, look at the campsite. Of course, we're not able to get over there, but look at it. It's got its own island and everything. Honestly, my introvert self would not mind being stuck up there. You'll miss out on this beautiful island, but nobody's there to bug you. I don't know if I should go this way or this way. 
I think I should go up here first. Look at this massive butterfly. Oh my gosh, the bugs here are on another level. Like, what are you guys feeding them? Ooh, we have a little seafood restaurant here. Look at this little spot. Oh wait, what? Whoa! I thought this water was real for a second. And then I saw the duck and I was like, wait, how did they get the duck on the water? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Okay, let me just get off the water for a second here. <laughs> just look at this shot right here. Look at all the codes they had to use. I love every single one of them, but the most impressive is this water here. Oh wait, whoa, I was tripping out for a second. I thought this was Able Sisters. Does that not look like the Able Sisters roof? But then I kept walking and then I saw Able Sisters here. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Obviously, I need to go get my eyes checked or something because clearly the Able Sisters roof is green and not teal. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Okay, so down here, it looks like we have more land bridges. But I want to check this area out first because I think we have walked into the neighborhood. Oh, it doesn't look like they're home right now. Same with this villager what about this villager no it doesn't seem like anybody's home not a single villager up here is home oh we can check out the houses down there i totally forgot but we'll circle back and we'll make our way down there but first let's check out this resident rep's house i'm sure it's gonna be beautiful whoa i thought it was glitching for a second this is such a good idea this must be the entryway or like the foyer of the house. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, whoa, it's their bedroom. I actually expected their bedroom to be upstairs, but I actually like the bedroom on the main floor. And also, this is a really nice bedroom. I love how realistic it is. Okay, so if the bedroom is down here, I want to see what's up here. I'm so curious. Oh, no way. Look at their kitchen! They were able to squeeze in a living room in here as well? Hold on, how have we not thought of this? This is such a good idea. Because usually we make a separate room for a living room, we make a separate room for the kitchen, we make a separate room for the bathroom. But having the kitchen and the living room upstairs is such a great idea because it gives you so much more room to work with. This has to be one of my favorite rooms I've ever seen. Okay, let's see what's in the basement. Oh, okay. I see what they're trying to do here. Clearly, they're still in the middle of working on it, or maybe they just didn't want to decorate it anymore. But they made it look like the basement is under renovations. That's so clever. So like you kind of have to decorate, but not really. It probably still took a really long time to put together. Nonetheless, the house was beautiful. The upstairs was definitely my favorite. Okay, let's go down this incline now and we'll check out these villager homes. I can't believe I forgot about these houses. I just got too carried away. Oh wow, Pippi's house. Oh, I like that they put the kitchen right in the front here. And then you have a little dining area. Oh. I want to see the rest of your house. Excuse me. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it like this. <laughs> so here is the living room. Oh, and Pippi's got some posters on the wall. What a cute little house. Okay, let's go check out the other house on the opposite side here. Oh, this is a nice house. I like the sparkling toaster. <laughs> Oh, I love this wallpaper. I've been trying to get it. But man, Sahara has been failing me. I swear I've gotten the same wallpaper from her like eight times at this point. Man, this is like a dream house. Got the nice appliances and everything. So this is the entrance. This is where the airport is. We initially started on the left side of the island. Now, let's just go right and see where it takes us. Oh, we have another villager home. Oh, I really like the color of this one. I especially love the door color. You know you're getting old when, when you start appreciating door colors. Is it just me? Oh, look at Chapwick's house. Stunning, stunning. Love that they gave him a little bathroom. 
Here is his kitchen. I love how they made his house very him, you know? They add some like fun elements to it to make it kind of look childish. It suits him perfectly. So on the right of Chapwick's house, it is a fish market. Now, I don't normally think fish markets are stunning, but for some reason, this one is. Like, it's so aesthetic to me for some reason. Oh, and they also used the umbrella trick for the crates. I love all the little items that they use too, like the jars and the cans. <laughs> also, I feel so bad for that fish just laying there out in the sun. His eyes are just screaming, end me now. Ooh, what do we got down here? Oh, we got another boat and some seats here if you want to hang out by the fish market. Me visiting my ex here at his home. Oh, we got a double bridge moment here. I love it. Is this the post office? Oh my gosh, wow. This has to be the most aesthetically pleasing post office I've ever seen. Look at their little sign. Oh, and they even put their mailbox out here. Oh my god, I could never. I would forget to check my mail. And then I'll miss out on all the letters from my mom, from the Happy Home Academy, but most importantly, the free gifts from my villagers. Ooh, we got a little art stand here. Very fitting, right next to the museum. Actually, let's go check out the museum. Love that they created a land bridge entrance for the museum. Everyone just has such grand entrances for their museum. I'm here for it. Oh, we have a little seating area with a vending machine. I think the vending machine has to be one of the best items in Animal Crossing. I don't know what it is, I just love it so much. And it looks good in every single color. Okay, so we have a dead end here. We have more seats. It looks like we have a carnival going on on the beach or something. Let's go check it out. It also looks like Nooks is down here as well because there's a sign pointing towards this way. And here it is. I think Nooks is perfect on the beach. I always thought Nooks was perfect on the beach, actually. I think it's because of the colors or something. But especially right now, with the decorations in the window and the garland hanging above the door, Nooks looks perfect here. So we have a little bit of an extension where you can buy snacks. Oh, and it looks like we're entering into the carnival. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, and here is their pier as well. They have a little snack stand on here. Also, we don't see the stall being used enough, but I love it here. The colors fit very well, fits in with the theme, looks great in the carnival. Chef's kiss. Okay, so let's run back this way. We have to go past this neighborhood again. Hey, your house is right here. Do you mind just letting me in so I can see your house? Oh my gosh, that just sounds so creepy. Sorry, I'm not a burglar or anything, I swear. Oh, here's a house. Oh, I love all the colors that they made these houses. Okay, wow. Check out Derwin's house. This guy's got a massive TV. He obviously has a car. That is probably a designer wallet. Oh my gosh, even the teapot there looks rich. Derwin is rich, rich. But sir, you need to do your dishes. Because everything in your house looks really fresh. But then you have a pile of dishes waiting for you. Other than that, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, and here is the other resident rep's house. I feel like this might be a cafe or a shop. It's kind of giving me that vibe instead of a house. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so incredible. We have a little deck here where you can sit and hang out. Look out onto the ocean. Let's see what's upstairs. Okay, yeah, so here's the shop. Here is where you can purchase your snacks. And if you need any fishing gear, they have that too. Oh wait, what's back here? Is this considered fish? Whoa, I didn't think it could zoom in that much. Is this considered fish bait maybe that they're selling? But they also have a bag of coffee on the counter next to a can of gasoline. But hey, we're literally in a store that sells snacks, fishing gear, paint, and dried squid all under the same roof. So who am I to question it, right? Wait, are we at the back of the island? Like, does this house face the ocean? Oh my god, it doesn't. <laughs> but I like the creativity. A for effort, for sure. Ooh, we have another villager home. 
but they're not home. They're out exploring the island. Look at this little fishing area. Huck's got his own little pond here as well, and it faces the beach. Oh my gosh, I could sit here for hours. Ooh, and it looks like he has his own boat too. He's also rich, rich. Actually, I feel like everybody who lives on this island is rich. Oh, what do we got here? We have a live music area. This is so cute. I feel like I'm on vacation right now. This is so pretty. Okay, we got a little land bridge here. And this connects to, of course, a bigger land bridge. We saw this earlier when we were over here at Able Sisters. Let's just go back this way and let's continue up and see what else we have. We got another fishing spot here, very cute. It looks like we're encountering a bakery and cafe now. Also love the random bathtub here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Man, how do you guys think of these things? Like, this looks real to me. But if you really break it down, it's just a bunch of items put together. But it looks like a legit bakery stand. We have another seating area where you can hang out, read your book, eat your pastry, drink your coffee, do what you gotta do, girl. Also, I love the vibes here. I like that this island has many parts to it. Like here we have more of like a town feel and then we have some more natural areas. And then of course we have all the waterscaping. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yes, we got a rooftop here. This is so stunning. Like the fact that this creator wasted an incline just to build this. I'm actually so glad we got more bridges and inclines on this update. Oh, let's see what's down here. We have another villager home and they have a boat as well. You know what? One of the requirements to living on this island is probably owning a boat. I mean, you kind of have to, there's water everywhere. Oh, look at Apollo's house. Oh, he's a fisherman for sure. This side has all of his tools and fishing gear. And then on this side is his little kitchen and he's got a view of the ocean as well. Oh my gosh, if this was my view, I would just stand here all day. I would stand here, cut bread, and then eat the bread all day. Also, ew, what are you eating here? Like, what is that, Apollo? I actually really like where his house is. It's very secluded. He's got this whole area to himself. Oh, and here is their secret beach. Looks like their beach is maybe a loading dock, possibly. I like the little entryway they made for it. We got some more fake buildings here. Ooh, I did not expect that. The medieval wall behind the storefront? I've never thought of that. That looks so good. Ah, my ex is chilling here as well. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing fine. Okay, let's go back this way up the incline. Oh, what's here? Oh, this is right behind that little live band we saw earlier. Did we go this way yet? Okay, we did. So here's that giant land bridge. And then we go this way. And here is the view with Apollo's house. And whoa, girl, relax. I'm just trying to look at your beautiful island. I'm sorry. Anyways, here is the view with Apollo's house and all the fake buildings. This is so stunning. Also, love that they put the arches to the left there and have the water running under it. Ugh, oh, this looks so good! Excuse me. Let's go down this way across. Excuse me. Let's go across here. We have a plant shop. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Oh, it looks like we have another view. We have more fake buildings in the distance. Oh, I really like how they use the storage sheds there. Kind of acting like they're fake buildings. Oh, I love all the views on this island. So pretty. So if we go across here, it takes us back to the campsite. And we went up here earlier where we saw the restaurant. We saw this neighborhood earlier, but nobody was home. And if we come back down this way, we're back to the front. And that is it. 
Thank you so much for joining me on this island tour today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a blast touring this island. It was so beautiful. I'll have the dream address and the creator social link down below if you want to check it out. I'm sure I'll be back with another video real soon, so please stay tuned for that. But for now, please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!